Well, it's that time again, and uh, we're going to be starting our second campaign of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. Uh, this time we're going with a 1920s France, of course, on legendary difficulty, random opponent, and of course, create own fleet. Let's go. All right, we've got our first uh, first design done here. Uh, I went with a heavy cruiser, uh, and uh, I think for this campaign, um, I'm gonna. Normally I go fairly small on the guns. I, I think this campaign I'm just going to max everything out in terms of uh, caliber. So on this one I've got 11.5s. Uh, I know I can go up to 11.9, but I've decided just for the sake of uh, rate of fire, going with the 11.5s. Uh, yeah, this, this is kind of... Um, the idea is that, you know, we're, we're packing how many 11-inch guns? Ooh. Uh, it says somewhere here, exactly. Somewhere. Uh, eight and six. I can't do math. That's 14. I hope I didn't make myself sound like an idiot. Anyways, yeah, um... I mean, the idea is rate of fire and large shells. That's that's pretty much the, the whole idea behind the design. <laughs> uh, we did make some cost-cutting measures here and there. Uh, more in favor of weight than actual price, but the idea was to keep it under 25 million so that for 100 million, I could buy four. The... Uh, the driving idea behind that being that in large fleet engagements I deploy these in groups of four and I mean that many 11 inch guns that's that's kind of scary all right next design up uh, we got our battle cruiser Triton this was a practice in figuring out how to fit 12 16 point nine inch guns on a battle cruiser uh, in 37,000 tons. So, yeah. I mean, it worked out. It's not great. Uh, once these get upgraded, these are Mark 1 guns, but once they get upgraded and, uh, a few other things, we should be pretty good with this. Alright, the, uh, last ship in the lineup, for now at least, uh, is our light cruiser, scout cruiser thing. Uh a quick adjustment here see how many tons of barrel we can fit on that because it's funny actually you know what we're gonna also do that with the six inch barrels so again optimized for big guns high accuracy uh, this one surprisingly well I mean in it relative to lots of other ships not very much armor but probably of the class, the most uh, most armored. Yeah, that's okay. That's got that. All right. Yeah. Uh, and thirty-two knots. Uh, went with underwater torpedo launchers because I they don't seem to blow up quite as often. But you know, it's a cruiser. Might as well have torpedoes. Had had the had the space. Used it. All right. Here we go. Uh, we'll do a quick review of the fleet for what we've got on deck. Uh, it's a very small fleet, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, four battle cruisers, eight heavy cruisers, and eight light cruisers. And we're keeping the last 156 million in the bank for the time being. Uh, we're gonna work on, on building it up slowly. To our north, We've got the English, of course. Uh, they've gone a little bit battleship happy. I honestly, I had a number in my head. I, I sat down and counted these, but um, yeah, they got about a few. Germany's got a lot of battle cruisers. Like, they have a few battleships, but uh, a decent amount of battle cruisers. 
uh, the Austrians have a somewhat decently well-rounded fleet, heavy on the capital ships in general. The Italians, decently well-rounded fleet. Uh, and that's pretty much it in terms of what's on the field. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking to, to take any sort of territory I can. So, I mean, like, if, if, if that means picking a fight with the English, I'll do that. Anyways, let's get this on the way. Oh, well, it looks like the, uh, the Austrians are trying to, uh, blackmail me? <laughs> no. Oh. I don't feel so good about this, but of all the uh, opponents to fight, this is probably the one I feel the best about. <laughs> Damn. But just in time. Ooh. I think those are triple barrel improvements. Interesting. Alright, we are at the most critical phase in the war for us, being that we have a very, very small navy. Um... We are going to move pretty much everything into uh, the Western Mediterranean here. Now, with uh, war, obviously, uh, our budget went through the roof. Uh, I think going to, what, 10%? No, 7.76. We're going to have to work on that through decisions if we get any more. But that's besides the point. Uh, yeah. Damn, this qu this campaign kicked off quick. Uh, ooh, we need to watch those as well. Alright, we're pretty much just leaving a light and heavy cruiser in the English Channel as our northern protection, and we're hoping the Germans don't come and fight us. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. The other thing is... Um, obviously with the money we got with the increased financing for war, we can build all this stuff, but we're not going to see any of it until 14 months out for the light cruisers and even more time for the heavy and, uh, battle cruisers. So we need to be really careful in these turns to come. It gets worse. Germany decided to also pick a fight with everybody, so now we're fighting two wars. We have 20 ships, and the Austrians have, oh, 98. I don't know how many the Germans have, but this is just going to be terrifying. Uh, and we had all sorts of stuff just get marked as obsolete, including the scout cruiser, which is what we used for our light cruiser hull, and I think our heavy cruiser hull as well, so... We may need to do redesigns. Well, crap. Ooh, developments, developments. All right, so we pretty much paid out all the money we had to form an alliance with the British Empire. This is probably going to save us in the North Sea. We also got into our first engagement with the Germans uh, in the English Channel. Go figure. And we only have six ships. And tonnage, tonnage wise, we're 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 uh, we're outgunned a little. So, can, do we even have a chance? They're faster than us. They maybe don't carry as much, but uh, yeah. Oh well, let's take this on. Let's see how we do. All right, here we go. Northeast. Ooh. All right, let's full send. We're going to turn off that. Oh, you can kind of do that, which is cheating, but. We, we know. Ooh. 
What do we got here? Lots of guns. Wow. I don't know what kind of accuracy they're, they're seeing on their guns yet. Uh, we're gonna go to our cruising speed. Oh no, we're already at cruising speed. That's a lot of 16 inch shells. We're gonna, we're gonna pull back a bit here. We're getting pens. We're not getting lots of damage. Damn, that's got a 16 inch gun. Alright, we're gonna start turning in. Oh, they've got a line. Yeah, they're looking at 4%. Which is uh, about what the uh, battle cruisers are getting. was not good. Yikes. That's a yikers right there. We're going to try to put some damage on that. I'm not liking where this game is going. It may be being forced to redesign my cruisers is, is a good thing, who knows. Oh, We do have higher accuracy, we just didn't, haven't done as much damage. If these cruisers could put some hurt on those battle cruisers, which I know they can, they have the firepower.
that extra accuracy is not paying off like I thought it would. Like the this is not not good. Yeah, we're gonna try to disengage. But that's what we're looking for. We need more of that. Try to put some distance between us and, and them. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. These things are just powder kegs. As fun as they are. They are powder kegs. They like to blow up and that's not fun. Let's see if we can get out and get away with just losing two. I'm gonna see if I can kind of push in here and maybe get some hits on on one of these battle cruisers with the 16-inch guns. And I'm starting to regret that decision. See if we can get out of here. that one open. We'll, we'll take the we'll take it from here. We'll we'll take the three and a half percent. We'll fight him we'll fight him from this distance and see if we can maybe knock out a battle cruiser. Because a couple lucky hits like that and we're golden. actually like to see that readout. Cool, okay.
Let's make sure to keep our distance. Oh, they mauled that. Yeah, I was too aggressive at first. are you using HE? Light that boy up. Why don't you have any ammo? You're out of AP ammo. My god. It's getting into scary territory. I'm creeping up into... Oh, 27, 28, 30. This is gonna slap if he hits with this next salvo. 33, 18... No! No! That's... That's probably going to be a kill on, on the... Yeah. That's going to be a kill. We're going to keep hunting capital ships, I think. There's what we're looking for from those 11-inch guns. There we go. Get him back for that hit against the Maltcom. Oh, he's gonna take this torpedo. Oh. Could have been worse. Oh wow, we're looking at 48%, at 51% on the accuracy on that. For the, uh, the 11 inches. Which would be better if they were getting more critical hits, because their, their regular hits are kind of like, oh, good night. Don't cook off, please. That'd be great. Oh, it got too close. It 
got too close to the Montcalm. You can probably come back. another kill I have a feeling we can probably hunt cruisers for a bit and we'll be good where'd it go you know what no we're gonna we're gonna disengage they look like they're happy to disengage. We'll just pummel any heavy cruisers that, that pop out of nowhere. Like these ones. How did we do for accuracy? 8.4. You know what? I'll take it. So they got two heavy cruisers of mine, and if we can if we can get away, we'll have taken what two battle cruisers. So I would say that's a decent trade. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, what we didn't get the other one. <sighs> you suck, game. Oh well. I guess that's that. 